dual security remote access vpn with multi-factor authentication and ice posture workflows good morning good evening my name is sandeep yadav and i'm going to cover a combination of any connect duo and ice to to achieve multi-factor authentication and posture validation for remote access users so i'm going to cover uh, the workflow i have all already covered the workflow in my previous tutorial so i'll just quickly give you walkthrough and show you the demo uh, with respect to asa being the vpn head and device so again there is a user with any connect um, secure mobility client install who connects to the asa in this demo uh, asa is configured as primary authentication source or uh, or the radius server as do auth proxy do auth proxy is configured with primary authentication source as a ad client once the primary credentials are verified do auth proxy sends a request to the cloud do cloud for policy evaluation and basis of that a do a push is sent to the end user mobile phone once the user accepts uh, the push uh, message a radius accept message is written back to the asa and asa is at this point is configured with ice or identity services engine as uh, as uh, as another radius server which is only used for authorization and this is where we do ice posture validation we check uh, whether the endpoint is compliant or not compliant and if the user is compliant the user is granted access so let's uh, let's go and look at uh, the demo for this workflow uh, this is very similar to the last one only the the endpoint device changes so here is my setup what uh, we are talking about is the VPN right here. This is my VPN gateway. These are the this is the AAA server. Of what I'm uh, referring to here is the ICE, which is used only for authorization. And here is the duo. Okay, so uh, 102060 is where um, duo is installed. So here is my proxy and if you you see here is the asa pointing to this authentication proxy uh, the asa ip address is 60.41 so this is the ip address that is used to make uh, to connect to the radius duo radius server which is available here uh, do take care of the timeout value over here this i'm using only for authentication this i'm using for authorization and show running and groups you can go ahead and look at the tunnel group as i mentioned here is my tunnel group called ravpn i'm using duo radius for authentication but i for authorization right so with that uh, let's jump uh, to ice quickly um, here is ice here's my policy set my policy set is as usual pointing to the default network access which in turn points to my ad server right here once the and here are my policy so pretty much same as i i had covered in my last uh, tutorial so let's uh, uh, so pre posture uh, vpn duo is is basically the authorization profile which is right here and the authorization profile as i mentioned in my last tutorial uh, sends a access accept message back uh, pushes a, a redirect acl So that's the redirect ACL here, which gets pushed, which is already available. And uh, yeah, then I, as I explained, I'm using uh, MS radius attribute. Uh, this is actually defined for each of those users. So the, this I did not show you in the last one, but uh, let me just 
do it in this case so we are using Eric uh, as one of the test user let me just show you what 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 did I do and where is it done so so uh, under the user properties under dial in there is an attribute here and this is where I have assigned a static IP address 114 to Eric and we'll be using another user called Alex uh, in this uh, scenario so let me just show you quickly what is Alex has what's IP address assigned to Alex so Alex is 112 Eric is 114 uh, with that let's jump to the test so here is one of one of the end machine uh, it's currently not on VPN it's disconnected so let's go ahead and test this out so we click on connect now let me do the same thing from <coughs> and the machine right here we click on connect I say connect anyway let's say the user is Alex So I receive a I'm still waiting for the MFA prompt. Let's do a give a try again. VPN, okay, connect Alex. you get the banner let's accept this so as you can see uh, it's connecting to ice this is where the posturing happening let's go to Right, so yeah, this is again, this is interesting. <coughs> so, um, there was, there was, uh, it wasn't uh, too quick to capture all of this, but I can still show you this that you can see a redirect URL was, was deployed and a redirect ACL was deployed as part of pre posture check right you see it's Alex is the user uh, connecting from here and um, let me show you the, the other interesting part which we were looking at so that MS radius attribute which I had covered as part of the AD here for Alex let's have a look at uh, it again dial in attribute here was 112 112 and if you look for Alex the static IP that is assigned is 112 here right so so the user is up running and uh, connected <coughs> and now let's go back and look at ice results so if you look at just now we we used Alex uh, it was the user who connected if you if you recall we we hit this particular authentication policy VPN is on ASA copy right uh, we hit uh, pre posture okay and as part of uh, pre posture it was uh, pending and then the user was marked as compliant 112 was the IP address assigned uh, in case if you need you can look at the authentication results so as I as I mentioned uh, show running server and as mentioned that ice was configured only for thrice you can see thrice only it was pre washer duo user was Alex coming from this public IP address <coughs> posture status at this point was pending 
and as part of MS radius framed IP address I assigned this particular IP address to the end machine and this was the redirect ACL that was deployed and the redirect URL that was deployed and and then finally we went to this one where <coughs> This is a repeat of that one uh, and I think this is the one which is not this one is the first one <coughs> and this is where the dynamic authorization happened so, and the posture status was marked as compliant and a different profile corporate asset VPN was uh, assigned to the same user right so <coughs> So this uh, scenario was very specifically to uh, ASA use case and the last thing that I've got to show you is Mr. Eric logging into uh, or where Mr. Eric uh, it was Alex sorry Mr. Eric Alex had successful authentication right so it was done using uh, duo push and let's get back to Mr. Alex and Mr. Alex now has access. Mr. Alex can now go ahead and, and connect to his remote uh, desktop, which is in corporate. And <coughs> this is where we have uh, further uh, gone at one step, and we are using uh, MFA for uh, remote desktops uh, as well. So I just expect this to be working. This is just taking some time. Yep, there you go. And here you connect. You are able to RDP. So uh, we are seeing this scenario very common to the bank where where the desktops are allow allow or the users are allowed to access their on-prem desktops. Um, in this case uh, as well uh, you can use duo for performing MFA when someone RDPs into uh, the system so that uh, could be another uh, use case <coughs> so just so here is Alex and this is where Alex is going to RDP uh, login into his system and this is where he would be prompted for authentication I can say let's use passphrase and this time we try something different and <coughs> is going to add uh, passphrase 065662 and he uses passcode to log in into the system and uh, is the Alex user who is on VPN and after on getting onto the VPN Alex is actually uh, using remote desktop securely with uh, MFA and the same results are eventually captured on the duo side as well so we just now logged in using passcode the user was Alex but the application being protected in this case was Microsoft RDP and if you realize uh, Alex was given a static IP 10.10.40.112 and here is <coughs> here is the same IP captured uh, the passcode is not captured the location for passcode is not captured during the passcode authentication is not captured because this is typically in airplane mode or when you don't have network so there's no relevance of our actual location just to quickly uh, recap uh, on the workflow user connects to ASA ASA has con ASA have configured with multiple radius server first one is duo the second one for authorization is ICE and uh, that's how it, this works i hope you uh, like the video uh, do catch up for the next video where i'm going to cover the second workflow uh, uh, using external radius server uh, till then uh, take care bye bye thank you